Hey guys, so in this video I thought I'd talk about ELIF because in the last couple of videos we've been talking about if statements and also the else keywords, so if and else sort of go hand in hand and ELIF, or you know, which is short for else if that is sort of the, you know, the third part of that if you like so they all work, uh, you know, together to enable you to incorporate logic into your program so I'm gonna show you how to use ELIF and, and you know, sometimes where, where in your program you might need to use it and why because a lot of times people don't use it even though it is there so uh, let's go ahead and get straight into it and I'll show you how to incorporate that into your program using uh, the program we've been working with for the last few videos now so you may have noticed in the last video that I actually introduced a little bug in the program and I'm going to demonstrate that now so if we run this program we can say uh, you know I just enter the same sort of test data as I have before and you'll notice it says are you male yes or no and here it is asking uh, you know the yes or no question which is great and when we said yes it worked fine because it used the male formula uh, because it, this this input evaluated to be true and then it would go ahead and use is male but if we also say no it says uh, it still uses the male formula which is not what we want we want it to say um, you know we want this to be false and therefore it uses the ma the the female formula so the reason that it's, it's still saying true is actually we could enter anything here and it would still be evaluated to be true and the reason for that is because as long as you enter in a string here in this input it's still going to evaluate to be true it's only going to be false if you don't enter something um, so the way that we can solve that is using if elif and else so we're going to do another statement here to check the data that is entered at this point so the the way that we're going to do that before uh, we actually you know choose which equation we're going to use is we're going to say if is male uh, is equal to remember this is a comparison operator which is why we use the double equals um, as opposed to the assignment operator which is saying uh, take the value of this and put it into this uh, that's one equal sign but two equals all, all that says is look at look at the first value look at the second value and say whether they're the same or not i.e. true or false so we're gonna say if is male is equal to yes or y because that's what we want for the input uh, then we can say is male is equal to true so that's what we want so when put, when someone puts y into the into the input here or in other words at this point when it's when it's asking for an input uh, it's going to run this and evaluate to be true here you know as long as this variable contains y at this point as a string. Um, in fact we're going to change this to string because it's a string value that we're checking for here and we're going to say elif so in other words you know if the first statement was you know if everything above it was evaluated to be false so in this case it, it's just this line this first line here if this is false then we're going to go to the next if or the else if statement and that's going to say else if uh, is male is double equal to no or just n in this case uh, make sure we spell that right I've just got an extra capital in there and what we're going to put here make sure we've got the indentation right the ideally should indent it for you but if it doesn't you can always use tab to make sure that is correct uh, by default it should be set to four spaces and uh, I recommend keeping it like that because otherwise you might get some sort of unexpected errors um, but now we're going to say is male is equal to false and so they're the two responses that we expect to get but what if the user actually 
doesn't put either of them because at this point they could type in anything and we really couldn't do anything about it so what I'm going to do is also add an else statement uh, lowercase and what this is saying is if everything is false here everything here is evaluated to be false so ismail is not equal to the, uh, y and ismail is not equal to n for no and then we're going to evaluate the else block so the, in other words if the user enters anything but yes or no or y or n um, we're going to say the default which is ismail uh, in fact we're just going to say print um, let's say print um, uh, error <laughs> I can't think of anything better to write than that um, it's a really bad way of doing it but uh, just for now that's, that's going to be fine and then we're going to quit so what's, what that's going to do is literally end the program at that point because we're not going to be able to process uh, their inputs using an algorithm because we don't know which one to use. So the quit function in Python built in is is just a way of saying to Python just end this script, just just end it now. Don't don't bother continuing. Just stop whatever you're doing, and uh, you know don't give anything to the user. So let's go ahead and run this now and see what happens. Make sure I've done everything correctly. So. And to your weight. Let's use the same data just for consistency. You could use any values you want here, but I just like to keep it the same so I know which output I'm expecting. Um, uh, I email. Yes. Okay, so that works. Great. Now we can go back, and run it again. I'll check the. Uh, you know what happens if you put no. So I'm going to go and do that quickly. Let's say no. Okay, that's great. So we st we're using the female formula now because it says Ismail is false. Let's uh, so this is evaluated to be false. Um, so then it skips straight to this else block. It doesn't bother reading this, um, and it will go straight to this one, and therefore it does the the female formula, which is exactly what we want. So now I'm going to try the the final option, which is just basically to put anything anything else here, and. Let's do 82, 185, and 18. Uh, let's just put something else there. Error. You see it prints error, just like we said. And then it says, it basically quits the program. It just says, are you sure you want to kill it? But it's basically finished the program at that point, which is what we'd expect from the quit function. And that's fine. I'm going to go ahead and say yes. So that is elif in a nutshell. It's just a way of saying if you have you know more than two outcomes that you want to deal with elif can be a good way of doing that so that's elif in a nutshell it allows you basically to incorporate logic especially when you've got more than two options uh, so here we have one two options but then when we look at you know this when we're trying to validate this input here is male we want to actually check if they're male or not and elif is a good way of doing that because we had three options here. It could have been yes, it could have been y uh, no, and it could have just been anything else. So that's that's a good way of doing a little bit of uh, validation in, on your inputs. And that's just a quick example of the elif function in Python. So with that said, we're going to be doing uh, loops in the next tutorial.